identified some issues that probably are in, are involved in this uh, uh, on this eve of this uh, new uh, technical approach to address uh, TME surgery, and um, so as a whole, we see a clear evolution in surgery, going from open surgery to minimally invasive techniques uh, implemented. But at the same time, by implementation, minimally invasive technique, we see also that there is a requirement of more uh, skills to perform this uh, surgery. And this really poses the question, are we not creating some uh, techniques that will be for the happy few and will not change the whole issue of TME? And um, I guess this is important. And always when you try to implement minimally invasive surgery, the question is, is there really an incentive to go like from open to laparoscopic surgery and then just briefly address uh, the color 2 trial? And you see one of the problems already is that 17% of the patients were converted. You gain like one day of hospital stay, uh, but the, the surgery uh, took longer. But when we look in real life now, and this is uh, Belgian data, where we looked recently how laparoscopy is implemented, you see that only one in three of all patients get a laparoscopic approach. And of those selected patients, we still have a conversion rate of 12%. So we are still struggling to getting laparoscopic TME on board. Although we see there is a, a slight increase over the years when we uh, prospectively recorded um, uh, the, the uh, lab TME uh, procedures, as you can see here, over the last six years, but we only gained like 10%. So the implementation is extremely slow. And also, as you can imagine here, the variability in conversion rates is very high. And you only see like a, a plateau there in those centers who did more than 50, 60 laparoscopic cases. And again, when you, you, you then want, if you want to implement it, it seems that it's only feasible in those high volume centers. But on the long run, uh, that's, uh, at least in Belgium, we haven't seen any difference in overall survivor, not for the laparoscopic, not for the open, neither for the converted, which is very important. Why is it so difficult and do we know the, the, the reasons for conversion? And this is coming from an expert center in Europe from Eric Rullier. And you clearly can see that for male patients with a narrow pelvis, and if you try to get a low stable anastomosis, you will have a high uh, uh, conversion rate at about one in three persons.